what is oak special fund okay. explain to me then the genesis of this special because you've used that word special before mm. what is the oak special fund explain to me what what, what why is why are we having the conversation with oak in relevancy to investing in global markets okay so the special fund is a kind of a collective investment scheme that is under the capital markets authority that enables fund managers to be creative in the way that they want to invest their fund mm -hmm. as long as they disclose are clear about the investment policy and get approval from the capital markets about their policy and the strategy that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why it's called a special fund. These other ones are very limited in terms of what asset classes, the percentages, and so on. Mm. But the special fund, you have different special funds looking very different from one another because they are all very different. Mm. So let me just start there. Yep. How did we end up here? We've been in the market for 30 years. Okay, and in the 30 years, you found that, in fact, I was just looking. 10 years back, 2014, the news was very different. We had, the news was about, oh, you know, companies have raised, I don't know how many millions of dollars in the capital markets through IPOs and rights issues. And, mm. you know, they're continuing to, so that time, the capital markets, and in as far as the stock market was concerned, there was companies coming, excuse me, coming to the stock exchange mm. to raise money. And in this case, the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Right, specifically. Mm. You know, that they were coming to issue corporate bonds, they were issuing rights issues where listed companies offer more shares for investors or shareholders in their company to give more money. Because there was a lot of liquidity, mm. there was a lot of money in the market, mm. and investment opportunities were there at that time within the capital markets because people were investing in the capital markets. But several things have happened since then. We've had the boom of real estate. We've had a lot of um, um, companies now getting funding from other places um, other than the capital markets. Mm. And so after that, we started to see the rise of private equity. Mm -hmm. And so companies, instead of coming to the capital markets to raise money, what would they do? They talk to private equity funds. Instead of coming to list on the stock exchange, they would... I'm just telling you what has happened. Yes. But also at the same time... They talk time, to high net worth individuals. Is that yes. an example of now the private equities? Well, the, the private equity funds are companies that are investment companies. It's just a, a different investment okay, strategy also. I get it. These people pull money together. You have a general partner. He gets limited partners and they come together in different markets to invest in companies. Yes. And they hold those companies for five to seven years and then they sell. Now, which is different from the capital markets because the capital markets, people list their company on a stock exchange mm -hmm. and you can buy and sell. The private equity is more a longer term vehicle, medium term I get to long term vehicle. Mm. So the point is that the capital markets started to get less requests for listings. Mm. Meanwhile, then we go into a post-election violence scenario. Am I right? 2017? No. What happened in 2017? Post-election was, yeah, post was, was way before that. It was way before that. It was not post-election violence. It was, uh, yeah. what happened in 2017? We had the election, the very... Oh, yes. 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 Uh, and so that season, 2016, 2017, mm. we also had collapses of banks. Okay. Mm. So several corporate bonds, commercial papers. Actually, that's actually what happened. I remember very clearly. 2016, 2015, mm -hmm. we had the collapse of several banks. Uh -huh. Imperial Bank, Chase, Chase Bank. Bank. We had uh, the collapse of Athi River Mining uh, within that season. We had uh, Nakumat had a commercial paper. It went under. Uh, Uchumi issued a rights issue. It the company was mismanaged and over the next two years or so from 2015, it went under. And so those events mm -hmm. were an issue. And then also the economy was not doing very well at all. So these, you know, people became jaded around, you know, should I invest in this capital mm. markets? Mm. We had companies like Mumias having issues. We had companies like Kenya Airways. I was going to say KQ. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just being real, right? Transparency is the key. <laughs> so let me just be real. Yes. So what has happened? We found people, less and less people investing where? In, In the stock tokens, market. Yes. And then now, the government starts borrowing money. After 2017, there was a hike in borrowing in the government mm. so now you find the returns are better there right mm. so the government starts to compete with the private markets wow because if you have a company and you go to the bank to borrow they look at you and be like do i give richie for 
19. And you remember also, we had an interest rate cap. Mm -hmm. That was a big issue mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. We had interest rate capping. What that did is that banks could not charge you more than a certain rate. So they could not price in risk. Mm. Are you understanding? Yes, yes. So if I need money desperately, I run a business, I want to borrow from the bank. The bank will look at me and tell me, ah, the cap is, I can't remember what it was, the cap is X. Mm. And I can get this from the government. Yep. Forget it. I, you I know, lend the government and I'm not lending you. And so what then happens? First of all, I remember that era so well. Because as, as, as borrowers, we were happy because we thought now it's capped and we could get loans easier. But we didn't. That wasn't the case in yeah, scenario. That wasn't the case. Because banks now found better places to get higher interest yeah. rates. And so then you find that companies are not able to do as well. And okay. so anyway, long story short... Performances of companies doesn't do as well. The companies in the stock exchange are not performing as well. We don't have new listings. And so it's just, you know. Mm. So people start seeing, ah, this capital markets. And then what is happening? Crypto, Bitcoin, <laughs> Ethereum, yes. Ripple. Yeah. I don't know. Cardano. Which one. Cardano. <laughs> <laughs> and all these others that I can't even remember. Yep. Right? Thousands. And so, the, so all of these different things, global markets, CTC, uh, in terms of performance, made a lot of people start avoiding the capital markets, going into bond markets and also outside of the country. Mm. So for us, and I'm telling you why we came to the special fund, mm. for us, we looked at this scenario and thought, okay, and I, I specifically recognized that we have to diversify our income sources mm. and our revenue streams and our offerings in a manner that meets our customers' needs. Mm -hmm. We can't just be harping a certain opportunity if really it's not there. There's no point of trying to push something that's not working. Mm. And we need to recognize the fears, the desires, the hopes, the needs that people have. And so it's in recognition of all of that and the realities of our markets today that we're doing this. Listen, Richie, it's not just about Kenya. If you are in Russia, investing in the capital markets in Russia only, mm. and then this war breaks out, do you know they had to close their stock exchange? Are you understanding me? Mm. If you are in China and you're only investing in the real estate market in China, and you can see what's happening in China real estate market, then you're in a mess. Mm. And so you find Chinese companies, where are they? You should go to Zambia and see for yourself. I was in Zambia where they are. for two months. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So they're diversifying. It's true. Yeah. So, so the point is, you have to get to the place where you recognize that there needs to be a shift and a move and people are becoming a lot more aware and enlightened. And so that's why we decided, you know what, let's issue a special fund. Yes, there's money markets and there's a place for all these things. In an investment portfolio, you have to have those assets that are your safety net, mm -hmm. those assets that give you an, an opportunity to meet, uh, or rather beat inflation, but you also need to give yourself an opportunity to create real wealth. Mm. Don't you? Yep. Now, those opportunities that enable you to create real wealth, you tell me what they are, Richie. They're things that are high risk. They're things that are complex. Mm. They're things that are difficult to access for one reason or another. So, for example, private equity. For example, trading in Forex. For example, trading in crypto. Trading in your own business. But people are employed fully. Or they're running a business and they're fully engaged. They can't be able to do all these different things. Mm. And so we created this special fund to meet the need that exists, which is... Can you manage for me my money in an opportunity that can give me much higher than inflation, but making sure that risk is managed mm. in a transparent manner, but making sure you use the right tactics in a market that is volatile mm. to give me good returns and I relax. One of the questions that used to irritate me a lot in my career was, can I just give you my money you manage for me? And you can even go back to videos on money where I'm like, there's no one who's going to make you rich. Because I'd be frustrated. I'm like, who is sitting down trying to make Richie rich? <laughs> you have to take responsibility. Yes. But I've come to recognize you need help. Yes. Because when are you going to analyze Euro USD? Mm -hmm. Or Canadian dollar versus Euro? When are we like, going, when to are you going to sell sit and... when, when we're at work? When right. we're in an operation table as a doctor? Yes. Like, or shoot in this video now. And then me, I'm a mother. I have three children. <laughs> I have a husband. I have two companies I'm running. Like, yes. when am I going to sit down and start looking at uh, how the real estate market? I can't. Like, there's things I can do and those I will continue to do. But where I can delegate, whether it is the picking up of my children and taking them somewhere, mm -hmm. or it is going shopping to buy vegetables, where I can delegate, <laughs> I will, yes. including financial assets 
to a certain extent. Mm. Are, are we together? Right. And so that's why we created the special fund. Yes, you're calling it Oak. Um, right now it's Kua Special Fund, mm -hmm. but we're changing the name. Mm. Uh, I remember when we named it, um, we were like, yeah, Kua, meaning to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Kua also means to carry, yep. right? Because yep, we're yep. carrying you. Yeah. But there's another Kua. To die. <laughs> <laughs> You want my investment to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. In fact, there was somebody in my office who was like, Rina, have you really thought through this word? Yes. Because in Kikuyu, yes, it means to carry, but there's also another meaning. You know how Kikuyu has like one word yes. for like three things. Yes. So, yeah. So, but what I'm hearing you say is that you created this as, okay, as Kua. Yeah registered it, presented it to CMA, and actually got it listed. Yeah, it's licensed. We have the license for so it. So if I go to the CMA website now, if I'm doing my due diligence, mm -hmm. I will see it. Yes, you will. I will either see Kua, but I'm hearing you're in the process of changing it to Oak. So we have three funds. Uh -huh. We have Hazina Fixed Income Fund. Uh -huh. We have Angaza Money Market Fund. Oh. And we have Kua Special Fund. Soon to be Oak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my. Yes. Yeah. But it's just a name change. It yeah, is yeah, not. Yeah. Everything uh, remains the same. Okay. Okay. Because of because of so this tell me then more about Kua. I've understood the history. Okay. This is wonderful. Actually, let's take a three minute break. Now, when we come back, you then tell me. Okay, Rina, I've heard you. What does this look like in terms of returns? Okay. What are you aiming for in terms of returns? Okay. Uh, what kind of diversification? I do know it is special and it's not it's not your trade secrets to let out for everybody because as you said, everybody has different mm -hmm. different strategies that they present to CMA. Right. But I'd like to understand a bit more about Oak Special Fund Stroke Kua. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back. Okay. <laughs>